Yeah, let's look at one more example where we use the fundamental theorem to calculate a derivative of a function defined as an integral. So in this case, we're looking at something more complicated than in the previous examples. Right? Our function f is defined as the integral from x to the fourth to x squared e to the t squared dt. Okay. So the trick here is to first decompose this integral right, and into two pieces. Say, there's one piece and there's another. Right. So now, let's define two new functions. V of x is the integral from x to 0 e to this d squared dt and let's say h of x is the integral from 0 to x e to the t squared dt so what we see here is the following the derivative of g remember that would be minus e to the x squared at the minus there because we're integrating from x to 0 and not from 0 to x right. and the derivative of h just using the fundamental theorem would be e to the x squared right. now we see that we can write f of x in the following way Right? This first integral, that's just g of x to the fourth. Right? The only difference here is if we replace x in the expression for g with x to the fourth. Right? So this is g of x to the fourth. And similarly, the second integral is just h of x squared. Right? We just replace the x here with an x squared. And now we just use the chain rule, right? The derivative of f would be the derivative of g of x to the fourth times the derivative of x to the fourth, and that's 4x cubed. And for the second term, we have the derivative of h of x squared times the derivative of x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. So what we get here is 4x cubed, right? and we substitute x to the fourth for x there. So we get a minus e to the x to the eighth. Right? And similarly for this term, right? we just substitute an x squared for x. It will be x to the fourth. And that's how it's done. Right, so again, there's nothing special about the fact that we had x to the fourth or x squared here. You could have had any differentiable functions in the bounds for the integrals. And the same method would apply. Right. 